Israel. This is Bishop Nathaniel. The Israelites have been scattered across the four corners of the earth, as prophesied in Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter. Here in Israel, united in Christ, we need your help to recover the remnant of our people. Teach them the gospel. Please help us, support us, and join or donate to the Booster Club today. Shalom. Shalom, Israel. I'm in Skinmala. Captain Amaziah. Captain Barnabas. Officer Carmela. Officer Joel. Officer Jerham. Shalom, Shalom, Israel. Good morning. Good morning. Wagwan. Wa Good morning wa to you. Good morning to you. <laughs> how do you say it? How do you guys say? Good morning, oh. Israel. That's right. Israel. All praise. All praise. Another Bonjour. day. Bonjour, Israel. Bonjour. Bonjour, Israel. You're not even Levi. You, he's Levi. You don't speak no Levi, that's no Creole. I speak Creole. I speak Creole. He's he's Levi, po poquito. That's French. I mean, that's Spanish. That's Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> he said, the hell is this? How you hey. say? How you say a little bit in, in Creole? The hell is this? TPT. TPT. Is that right? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. TPT. I don't believe it. That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he got the oh, TPT. Dang. <laughs> ah, the Sean T. Hey. Hey, we have a special guest this morning, Officer Joa. That's right. Clap it up for Officer Joa. That's with, right. With, with a hand clap. <laughs> Officer Joa. Hello. Hello. All right, cut it, cut it, cut it. Shalom, cut it. There you hey, go. Why don't you tell the brother, actually, why don't you tell the sisters, not forget about the brothers. Yeah. Why don't you tell the sisters, because I got a couple of complaints from last week Dang. about that brother we invited. Shalom, why don't you tell the sister why you're here? Yeah, why are you here? Wait, why are you here? Tell the sisters why you. What's here. your business here? I came on the radio show, man. To hang out, you know. What? <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Um, that's right. Hang that's... out. You in the one place to hang nah, out. Nah, I'm um looking for a rib. Looking for a rib. No, no, no. Make Ma it plain. Menorah Ma Ma rib. Make it plain. You looking for a a wife? A wife. Okay, thank you, bro. A well, help I, I gotta for you. It. I gotta force him to say it. Does she gotta be good looking? Yes. Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so that means she need all her teeth. Yes. Okay, that's the that's, that's the teeth. yeah. That's the <laughs> number one. So I that's like, the standard. I like, I like smiles. All teeth. What about the back ones? Like way in the back. <laughs> <laughs> so as long as she got the front eight. Yeah, yeah. yeah eight. I, I can deal with the front she eight. She, she I, can't, I can't see the. She don't need uh, the molars. Teeth. She don't need the molars back nah, there. Uh. Nah, she don't need those. <laughs> just chew I, the, she just chewed the front teeth, the first yeah, eight. Yeah, I, I, need, I need those. I need those. I was eating. She eat those. scrambled <laughs> eggs. Joa, <laughs> Joa, tell them your name, age. Do you have any kids? Do you have your own place? Go ahead. Tell them. Okay, you know what? Tell the sister something about you. Well, um. Something about me. I mean, he don't know. Name, okay, age, brother. Name, name age. Uh, okay. Uh, I uh, I'm Joa. Um, I have my own place. Um, Your own vehicle. My own vehicle. Uh, own job. I'm 37. 37. So you're an officer. You're officer of what? Officer 50. How long you been in Israel? Six years. Six years. So he got a little, he got some power. You know oh, what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He got, <laughs> brother got some, some authority around brother. here. He's a faithful brother. He's yeah, um, a faithful brother. Yes. Faithful brother. He got he got really really good report here in Israel. In uh, in ATL, uh, 
Loyal, loyal faithful, brother, faithful. Puts his brick in. Yeah, he's put his brick. How's in. your health? Oh, it's, it's good. I like. Uh, I do. I mean, uh, my health is good. So you don't have venereal disease. No. Venereal. Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> nah, nah. I'm oh, good. Oh, but sisters, he's my, clean. He's all right. I, I, I like to eat good, and um, I don't like too much fried stuff. I do a lot of herbal stuff. So in other words, you don't want no Judah then. Oh Judah man, said, come, oh, on, come on. You're fried. I mean, hey, you know, fried. He, hey, oh, what job you from, by the way? You Judah? I'm Judah. Yeah. See that? So but you I need mean, a Benji. You need a Benji or Levi. I mean, do you have any Judah? kids? No, no kids. Do you want a sister with kids? Uh, maybe one. I could deal with one kid. Okay. All right. Yeah. Mm. Um, but you know, Judah. Judah what tribe do you like? I like all tribes. There you go. There, there you go. go. All right. Oh, you all right. You all right. You all right. right as long as right. she's usual, you don't give a damn. That brother ain't prejudice. I like, I like all tribes. She got to be any tribe with all any her tribe. teeth. With all her, as long as she's usual nice with mom. all her teeth. All <laughs> praise. <laughs> and pretty, yes, right? And pretty. Yeah, gotta be right, pretty. pretty. So, <laughs> what, what what exactly are you looking for in a in a in a help in a help me? Um, what kind of sister are you looking for? Well, a sister who knows like the importance of um, being a help me. Um, when I say it like that, I'm saying like she has to know, you know, her role. How, yeah, her role. Like, how 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 to? She got to know what, what I like when I come into the house and how to, and how the house needs to be kept. And you know what I like and what I don't like when I come in the house, because you know we have to deal with Esau every t- uh, uh, twenty, why well, not twenty four hours, maybe twelve hours a day. All right. In other words, you saying you spend all day dealing with Esau. When you come in the house, you don't want to hear nothing. I want, I want to be like a little mini kingdom. <laughs> My like, man. So you want your house, right. you want inside the house to be a little mini kingdom, like a, like a mini kingdom. Yeah, that's like, what I said. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody shut the hell up. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All like little, little, little bit, little talk, little talk. Yeah, just like uh, Bishop always said, it ain't hard to please us. Right. You know, right, we just, right. Right, you, what you say, uh, food, a little conversation. <laughs> a little fun. A little, little fun. Little, 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 That's it. That's it. That's it. I ain't, I ain't hard to please. So. I'm not hard at all. All right. Praise. All right. All right. I don't know. I don't know if you guys know. Yuri is gone. <laughs> oh, you mean he's off the market? Yeah, Yuri. Officer Yu is off the market. You can stop emailing I us actually, now. I actually was doing no signs marriage paper. <laughs> They're okay. going to hate you, Deacon. <laughs> yes, Yu is gone. So now there's a couple of brothers who are going to take Yu's spot. You <laughs> got, got, you got Asa. Officer Asa over there. Asa. Look at him. The ruddy brother. The ruddy brother. <laughs> now you got, you got Joa. Because last week we got some complaint. Sister said, because, hey, when that brother make that comment, sister's got pissed. <laughs> He said he better than hey, us. There's a sister who said, when you're going to invite a handsome, where's all the handsome brothers? <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> why, are always, why are you always invite the ugly ones? And we don't, don't even know what trap they like. Damn. Oh, <laughs> what the hell is this? She <laughs> says got mad because the brother make that comment. But you know, you know. Hey, hey, you know a lot of majority sisters in Israel is Judah, Benjamin, Levi. That's a fact. Mm-hmm. So when the brother say he want to go with the Northern Kingdom, yes, he said got mad. But that's okay, they'll be all right. Thanks. But anyway, so today we invite one of the handsome brothers we got here in Atlanta. That's Officer Joa with no neck. <laughs> Damn. Damn. <laughs> I was going to say it, D. That is him. <laughs> hey, hey, but but listen, I know, I know this brother a long time. He's been with us for a while. He put a lot of work in Israel. And I'm not just saying that. He's a good brother. Really good brother. No, no, no complaint. No. Good spirit. He good got spirit. a really good spirit. Yeah. He had a really good spirit on him. Every since I know these brothers, he always, always keep a job. Yes. That's very important. Yes. Keep a job. He, he's, that brother right here is a hustler. He always keep a job. Always. I never heard. I never had one day when I, I never had a, a, a thing where I don't remember. I never asked. I never remember him without a job. Yeah, yeah, he always I, had a job. So, so he's a he's a good brother, good spirit, and he's not um one of those. He's not an angry brother. Yeah. He's oh, not. thank God. Yeah, he's not an angry. It's not a. He, you never really see Joe upset. No, like, I, like never never see, I never. I never see Joe upset with anybody. Nobody never has a problem with with him. You know, so that's the kind of character that he that he has. So we had a three a uh, three hour council last night with a brother with an anger problem. Yes. Sir. Yes. And he cannot yes, see sir. that anger problem. And yelling at the wife and took his gun out 
and held it at his side. You can't make this stuff up. Damn. These backdoor marriages never. Yeah. They don't listen, last. don't go to backdoor, brother. Hey, listen. Nah. By the way, I, I got to make this announcement. I got to say this. Some of you, you do stuff without asking for counsel. Let me give you guys a little advice. Since I'm a truck driver, I don't know how many of you truck drivers know this. If you got pulled over by DOT, they search your truck, they find your guns in the truck, you're going to jail and you're going to lose your license. Some of you, you put, you take your weapon, you put, you put it in your truck and you're crossing over line. State line. State line. You're, you're, some of you are a bunch of idiots. I'm telling you straight. I'm going to say it again. You get pulled over by DOT. They ask you to, by the way, DOT don't need a search warrant to search your truck. I hope you guys know that. DOT is different from a regular police. Hmm. They're different from a regular police. You get pulled over, is it in the wait station or on the side of the road? They find weapon, you will lose your license. Yep. There is something that you did not know. Let's say you're going, you're going over the road in your truck. You said, let me put two Tylenols in a piece of paper. In a napkin. Do, in a yeah. napkin. DOT pull you over, you yeah, find that in your side of your truck. And you can't prove it. You cannot Tylenol. prove it, Tylenol. They're going to charge you with drug trafficking. Damn. Substance. Damn. Substance. substance. Um, possession of a substance. <laughs> I, I hope, I, hey, listen, I hope you guys take counsel and stop it. And you're going to lose your license. <laughs> stop doing things without asking first. Because we got a young man last night, he been doing that. He didn't even know that. So I'm asking him, yo, who the hell tell you you can do that? You, you, I mean, you, every day you crossing state line with your weapon? I say, are, are you serious? But, so just, just be mindful. What are you going to call you? The next thing what I want you to refresh in the memory. God, remember he said he go on his, his phone and he, he Google where and where he can cross state line with. Mm. Just let him know, let them know that in the, in the truck, Different from a car. That's, that, that's what that. Yeah, yeah. It's, so a the, truck is not the same thing as a car. Right. A truck is different. A truck is under DOT. They're, they're regulated by the DOT, yes. not regular state rules, state laws. It's by DOT, by DOT, which is federal. Yes. I'm not saying a regular cops cannot pull a truck over. That's not what I'm saying to you. But I'm telling you, a truck is regular. A truck got their own laws. The there is a different law for a truck than a car. You're a professional driver. Yes. You're not a, in a regular. The uh, vehicle. You're a professional driver, so the lo the laws for you are going to be different. It's going to go by DOT, which is more strict than the regular state laws that you that you think you're going by. It's federal. Mm. Keep right. that in mind, y'all. Because DOT can pull you off and do whatever the hell they want. That's why cops say it's federal. Because remember, you crossing state line with the truck, so that's federal. So they can do whatever the hell they want. They don't want. They don't have to ever want to say, "Hey, step out of the truck." You have their mercy. Yes. That is why, for example, when you go to Texas, uh, you go to a um, place like Loredo, Loredo, Texas. It because it's so close to the Mexican border, once you going oh, yeah. back, mm -hmm. they got they got immigration that they, they got immigration there with dogs. It, mm, that's a that's a whole nother level over there. They got Loredo, immigration there with dogs. Level. The first time I went there, I'm like, I'm like, what the hell is They're that? Everywhere all, all over yes. the highway. Everywhere. When you pull over to the wait station, then now you see they got uh, uh, immigration uniform mm -hmm. and everything yeah. with a dog. They ask you, are you the only one? Are you in the truck by yourself? And it's all, it's a car. Yes. <laughs> are you in the truck by yourself? Car. Yes. Uh, are you sure? Yes. Then they got dogs. Sometimes they walk the dog while you're on your truck. Mm. Hmm. So is it a lot of truck jackings or something? Yes, there, yeah, used to be, but they still do. Oh, okay. I was wondering, like, what you need a pistol for if you just... But I guess if, if it's truck jackings or maybe the lot lizards get you or something like that. But I'm just telling you this because the young man last night didn't know that. And we got a lot of truck drivers in IUIC. So I'm just giving them, I'm just giving them the warning right we, now. I believe we got an early phone call also. Hey, Shalom caller, what's your name, question, or comment? Hey, Shalom, Captain. This is Officer Matthias uh, out of Atlanta. Hey, Shalom, um, Shalom. I just wanted to comment on what Deacon was saying about brothers carrying their firearms in their truck. Um, brothers don't realize when you do that, those fines 
that they give you the fine is actually worse than going to jail for some of those offenses. Brothers would rather spend a week in jail than to pay some of those fines. I have been working next to troopers and looking at the prices of some of those fines. Some of those fines reach up to twenty, thirty, forty thousand dollars. Oh, right. wow! Yes, you guys didn't know that, huh? Uh, you might want to repeat that, uh, keep messing officer. With, repeat, keep messing with DOT. Repeat how much that fine is. Damn. Right, some of those fines, um, and like Deacon, like when Deacon said you could have Tylenol and get charged with trafficking, those fines can reach up to twenty, thirty. Check the volume. The volume is low. He they said say, the volume on the call is low. They say check the volume. Okay, hold on. Hold on, hold on, officer. Or talk, speak right into the uh, your phone there. All right, can you oh, hear oh, me oh, now? That's his, oh, yes. that's okay. Yes, sir. Yeah, go ahead, okay, go ahead, so, get it, uh, officer. So what I was saying is for the truck drivers, that's better. some of those fines for um, those offenses, like you were mentioning about brothers having Tylenol um, wrapped up in a napkin, and you can be charged with trafficking. That's absolutely right. Some of those fines reach twenty, thirty, forty thousand dollars, and they will seize your truck in order to pay that fine. If you own your truck, they will seize your truck to pay that. They will um, try to garnish. They will try to get a uh, writ to garnish your paycheck. All that. So brothers will rather spend a week in jail than to pay some of those fines, and they will take your CDL, mm. and they will not allow you to have a regular Class C driver's license really? until you pay that fine. Yes. Oof. Wow. Yes. So, so y'all brothers keep playing around. Witnessed it. Y'all so, brothers take counsel, man. That's we what, in here. Hey, that's what I'm saying. We in here at Pisha Saint Video. We are my brother keeper. We are my sister keeper. Hmm. So Yes. That thing will ruin your life. Yep. All because you you just by chance threw your firearm in your truck just because or just because you wanted to ha- take some Tylenol, stick it in your pocket, whatever. Simple mistakes like that, Esau don't care. They will stick it to you. Let me tell you, right? Let me tell you. Let me tell you. Let me tell you what happened to me. One day, I, I, what happened was I dropped a load that night. Uh, my boss wanted me to pick up a trailer, so I said, I'm like, no, I'm hell, no, I'm not pick up no trailer. So I dropped the load. So I unhooked my truck. That, that was my truck. So I unhooked my truck. So I was only about an hour from the house. So I was back there home. I forgot to do my logbook before I left. So I made my mind. I'm thinking. I'm just gonna back to your home. Uh, it's, I'm only one hour. I got I got pulled over in the wait station. Dang. The DOT guy go. The the officer go. Let me let me see your logbook. I'm like oh shit. So I'm I took my logbook out, which is I the day before everything is good. But that morning you didn't start one. I didn't start one. In my mind I'm thinking ah, nobody's gonna. As a matter of fact, it was a it was a, a holiday. It was one of Esau holidays. I'm thinking, they're not open. The guy go, let me see your logbook. So I'm trying to explain to him. I said, oh, uh, they go logbook, but I didn't, uh, I didn't log in yet. He said, he said, okay. I said, oh, I just, I was only 20 minutes. So he said, how do I know? Can you prove that? I said, no. He said, okay, I'll tell you what. I'm going to shut you down for 10 hours. I'm like, oh, shit. I'm like, officer, are you serious right now? He said, don't I wow. look serious? <laughs> he shut, wow. he shut me down for 10 hours. How do you do that? How? Because remember the, you're supposed to drove 11 hours, 10 hour break, 10 hour. 10 hours straight. Right. 10 hours straight. Uh, the truck's supposed to stop for 10 hours straight. So he said, you're going to get shut down for 10 hours. After 10 hours, you can go home. I'm like, so you're going to make me sit here for 10 hours? He said, yeah, that's exactly what I'm going to. He said, next time you will know to, to fix your logbook. Oh, I'm like, hey, damn. D, that trooper must have been having a good day. Because <laughs> normally, them state troopers, Are they, gonna find they don't care. Mm. They will find you. So he must have been had. That's, that's a state trooper on a good day. Yeah, he didn't give me a ticket. Mm. So he said, go over there, pack the truck. But I was only, lucky for me, I was only 20, 20 minutes. Uh, yeah. That was in Forsyth. Forsyth, uh, Forsyth. Georgia. Mm-hmm. Forsyth, Georgia. I was only 20 minutes from, it's about 20 minutes from McDonough. 
So I called my wife, come get, come get me over there. But it was, so my truck had, and he go, and, and he go, he said, I'm leaving here in two hours. You barely don't move the truck. <laughs> 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 They don't play, bro. They're not playing no game, bro. They're not playing no game. So, Israel, if you're a truck driver, listen, be very careful. Don't play, don't play game with DOT. Right. All right, officer. Don't play with you GOD call, either. Y'all keep with these back door marriages. DOT and GOD. <laughs> don't play with them. <laughs> Deacon, uh, one of the sisters said um, on a comment said, "Why do you keep just bringing one brother on the show when there's hundreds of single sisters?" Oh. Patient Saints might have to do a special show. So we got to bring single sisters? No, single brothers. Single brothers. They want to see a, a more than just one. One at a time, you're saying? No, they Dang. want a bunch. They don't want just So one. they don't want one at a time. Oh, like, they, like, the they like the grocery shop. Yeah. <laughs> they, so, they want to pick and choose, So man. the sister want to pick and choose. <laughs> oh, uh, okay. Yeah, I see why them bad wow. no marriages pop up. <laughs> <laughs> so, sis, we only got one mic. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. So how the mic you need? <laughs> All right, Deke. So what are we doing? Where we going to? Kidon, what do you have? What do you got? There's a lesser. That's they don't have much going on this week. Everybody quarantining. Everybody's quarantined. They don't have much going on this week. Did they open up Georgia? Georgia back up? No, nah, not really. No, sir. I heard. I heard it go up to fifteen instead of ten. Fifteen people. They say some stores are open. Like yeah, yeah stores mostly stores. Yeah. I heard massage parlors are open. Uh-oh. That don't make no sense. You gotta get your back rub, I guess. <laughs> that ain't six feet. <laughs> that, right. Hell no, that ain't six feet. <laughs> it's social distance right hey, behind. They breaking the law. What about that class got, yesterday? What about that class yesterday? You love yeah. it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. 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 That class was short and spicy. Yeah, short and spicy. <laughs> yeah, like that it. thing was out the gate. Yeah. Like, dang. Yeah, hey, right. some, oh, have some, your day is coming. Some, some, you know some Chinese hacker, he's going to come after us. You know that, right? Hmm. Some Hacker Moab site. hacker. <laughs> the last time, it. the last time Bishop do a class about Moab, you know, some hacker tried to hack us. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh hell yeah. Yeah. They got pissed. Bishop, I seen why don't people, why don't other counts don't like you. They don't like you. Yeah. I see. I, yesterday I seen why. Oh, I somebody said, said why? somebody said, do we have blood is that fifty or sixty? Yes. Yes. Hey, call Mikiel up here. Where's Mikiel? <laughs> Call Mikiel. Call Officer Mikiel for me. He only looks 50. Well, call Mikiel, man. Yeah, Wait, I was, why they don't like me? Cause I say he pulling out books and got all kind of maps, and you say I I know these other jokers ain't got no books and no maps. <laughs> and I be mad too. I be like, man, this nigga always got shit. Now I gotta go try to buy the book for a thousand and act, <laughs> and act like I already knew. <laughs> ain't gonna never buy yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, you ain't knew. Yeah. Hey, that last book that Captain Joel sent them, that was a that, bang. Yeah, that was the that was icing on the cake yeah, right there, yeah, man. Exactly. Joel, you all right? You all right? You all right? <laughs> you all right man. Negroes looking in the black in the in the black history section. I was like, man, that's crazy. We got an old, old map of Africa with all kind of names in it. I said, that's with the tribes, they got Levi cities, then they yeah. got yeah. children uh, of Ephraim. Ephraim. Benny Ephraim's. Ephraim. You have two Ephraim. cities for Levi, right? Yeah, two yeah. cities. Yeah. So some well, of y'all Judahites might be Levi. Levi didn't have anyone yeah. two cities. Levi was leaving all of yeah, Israel. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. No, but the map, spread. he's saying the map. Yeah, the map. Oh, the map, yeah. 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 That's crazy. I'm yeah. like, I said, I, I would, I'd be mad too if he keep pulling out jaw like this in front of me and I ain't got nothing. <laughs> you got, you got a rich. Google search. <laughs> they can't stop this bad, man. Google scholars. Google right. scholars. Google camp. Google camp. See everything. Okay. Kid on YouTube profit. Like, kid on what is that? Black men wanting what? Yeah, that's the, the oh. Hey, read, read this article right quick. Uh, while, while we're waiting for Officer Mikia, you know he's a little slow. <laughs> Black man running through Georgia neighborhood killed by two white men who thought he was a burglary suspect. That makes no absolutely oh, no, no one sense. has been charged or arrested in the connection with the killing. You done. You might have to blow this. At no yeah. way you're gonna see, be able to see this. All right, that's better. Ahmad Arbery was believed to just be jogging in a quiet suburban neighborhood when he was pursued, shot, and killed by a white resident and their father who suspected him of committing robberies in the area. You would have think, you would have think with this coronavirus, the hunt for black men would have stopped. They're still killing black men. Dang. Now his family is worried that the case won't get the attention that they believe it deserves because of social distance, distancing orders. Arbery was running through the 
Satilla Shores neighborhood near his home in Brunswick, Georgia, when he passed Travick McMichael's home. Aubrey's father believed he had left his home to exercise while others speculate he could have been engaging in an unseemly activity. Travis's father, Gregory McMichael, was standing in the front yard and called out to his son after seeing Aubrey. Travis emerged from the home and the father and son duo grabbed their guns and followed the 25 year old in their truck, according to the Brunswick News. So let me get this straight. Damn. That's him. He's jogging by his house. These two white men. Go ahead, Cap. No, no, go ahead. ahead, These two white men see him and follow him and shot him. Hmm. Can I make this make this stuff up? So I'm a burglary suspect. I'm. Got my got my Brooks on and my, and my running you shorts. You gotta make this stuff up. So they did the they did a drive by because they say they got in a truck and followed him. I don't know if they got out of the car and shot him, but they probably shot him while in the truck. No, you know that here it goes right there. Yeah, you know any of us can get killed like that. Yeah, yeah. I, I I don't think a lot of us don't realize in the world at least is that this is what's embedded in America. It's embedded in from the from the time of slavery up until the menstrual era when when we was like menstrual show. Um, caricatures and all of that. It's embedded in these people mm-hmm. to think of us like that. You see a black man run, he, uh, he automatically is a criminal and he's, he's a burglar, right. bur- burglar suspect. Yeah. That's just what they've, that's embedded in these people. Yes, huh? yes. Cause them women probably would have, like all them women, like what it was last year when they just was calling for barbecues and, and yeah. selling yeah. water, like all that's the same, that's the same it's thought the same pattern. pattern. It's the same no, thought. No, 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 hey, 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 hold on, hold on. I'm sorry you come a lie. No. Uh, don't give him a chair. He ain't gonna. He ain't gonna be here long. I just want. I just want this. The one sister. One. One. There's a sister. Want to see him? <laughs> yeah. Some bro, sisters want to see you, man. They want a mature man. The sister mm-hmm. said, mm-hmm. "I wanna. Uh, I wanna to say, see a brother man. that's over fifty. A mature. <laughs> so turn the mic. Hey, suck. Hey, suck your stomach in. <laughs> he just did. Shalom, <laughs> 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 so bro. <laughs> Shalom Israel. They can't T- hear you. you tell the put sisters on the your mic. name, who you are, man. You gotta put on a mic. Mickey Yeager. AKA they can't Watchmen. hear you. Me, uh, me, Officer Mikia, aka the Hammer. The Watcher. The Watcher. <laughs> they didn't hear nothing you said. Officer Mickey Yeager. How old are you, Officer Mickey? Your sister says she wanna know, man. 66. Woo! Woo! Woo wee! You look good for 66, man. Yeah, he can, yeah, he can teach you a little for something, real, sister. Man, bro, I got more great than you. For real, for real. Yeah. Yeah. For real. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, pray. I'm 49. Saying? You look 49. I'm 66. Yeah. That, that brother got a lot of wisdom to share with you, sister. Yeah. No, 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 no. Do it again, bro. Suck your stomach again. You was doing good. You got to get a man lightheaded. <laughs> Yeah, I'm sorry, Miguel. Oh, Miguel. You look good. You look That's good a good brother right there, too. Yeah. Another brother puts in a lot of work. Yes. Puts in a lot oh, that of brother work. right there? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, we got a phone call. You want to take the phone call? Uh, no, no, no. Hold on, hold on. Uh, hold on come call. alive. Finish what you was going to say. Uh, I'm sorry. Oh, um, oh, just uh, with, like when the sister or the, the um, East Cheetah Mites was doing all of the. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Somebody say. I thought Mikia got hooked up on Citizen.com. Senior Citizen. <laughs> <laughs> uh, y'all wrong, man. Yo, we did hey, have, but well, we did have a brother do that. Hey, brother Raphael, you wrong, bro. Adam, Adam Raphael, you from you wrong, bro. <laughs> you we, far, we bro. did have a brother do that, and he got took out. <laughs> All pretty Mikiel ain't like that. Oh, Mikiel a little tougher than that. Yeah. The AARP.com. Stop, stop. We want to talk to you. They said to Arbery. After a struggle over the shotgun with Travis, Aubrey was shot at least twice and killed. According to a police report, Gregory told the police that Aubrey looked like the suspect in a number of break-ins, but the former high school football star mother believed her son was judged because of the color of his skin, reports the New York Times. No one has been charged or arrested in connection with the killing. George E. Barnhill, a prosecutor in the case told the police in a letter that Gregory and Travis acted within the state's citizens arrest law and Travis acted out of self-defense. Moments before the interaction that led to the killing. So, arre- so wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Did you read that, that last part again? Did you just say self-defense? Right. And they chased no. him. Wait, they say 
George E. Barnhill, a prosecutor in the case, told the police in a letter that Gregory and Travis acted within the state citizen's arrest law and Travis acted out of self-defense. So they're saying that I could pull you over. So wait a, minute, can pull wait, a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. So I'm jogging in my, in my neighborhood. Mm-hmm. You chase me with a chuck. Mm-hmm. You pull out a gun, you shoot me, and you shoot me out of self-defense. Out of self-defense, I'm supposed to have a gun too. Well, you know, he got the, tra- they got the Zimmerman rule. When you get your ass whooped by Jake, then you get to shoot. <laughs> Because they say a struggle. Why is that every time Esau kill a black man, they always make up laws to 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 mm. to get away with it? I don't know. I call it a Zimmerman rule. When you follow somebody, then you get your behind whoop. Now all of a sudden, you in danger. Mm-hmm. So I never heard self defense with somebody that's unarmed. He's unarmed. How the hell is self defense? He's unarmed. Zimmerman rule. So now you got to add jogging to the list that that black people can't do without getting killed. Can't have a broken tail light. Can't break down on a highway. Can't right? go to the store. So now can't for the go to state, the store. Can't have Skittles and an iced tea in your hand. So the hoodie. state you can carry. So for the state you can carry, like for example, like Florida, Georgia here. So now you have to jag with your pistol in your in your pants, because uh, one of these one of these Esau's might pop might pop you. He might think you are, you're a burglar. Oh, if you really got a gun, though, they really got right to shoot. They gonna shoot you for real, for real. They gonna say you pulled that pistol on them. They gonna tell you that. Oh, he this is that. some madness, bro. Damn. The killing don't stop. Even, even in quarantine, they're still hunting. Hunt your steps. Even I always say the black man got it worse. Nobody got it worse than the black man in America. He's supposed to be in his house quarantined and he out chasing niggas. Damn. <laughs> in a pickup damn. truck. In a damn pickup truck. He's seen one nigga all, he seen one nigga in three weeks. He going to hunt him down. He's like, this is how I used to do it with my paw, boy. We gonna, I'm going to show you how to do it. Can't win. Get in the fold. Can, we, can I get a square? That's what I was, hey, Bishop, where's that scripture that's, st- go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Um, let me get out of uh, Deuteronomy 28, 66, 65, I'm sorry, 65. The Deuteronomy of, 28 and 65. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 65. And among these nations shalt thou find no ease. That's what the Bible says is going to happen to us for breaking God's laws, brothers and sisters. We ain't going to find no peace here as long as we remain under Esau's behind. As long as our heads is up, Esau's behind, and we think we Americans, we good, we could just jog anywhere, we could do every, whatever we want, just like real citizens, the Caucasians, we're going to find no ease in this place here. We always going through something, even in quarantine. You can't even survive in quarantine. Right. Go ahead. Hey, I'm sorry. Yes, sir. The, the word for our people, we're not citizens, we're denizens. Yes. Right. That's right. what we are. Yes, sir. Then is meaning we have certain rights. That's why we have to fight for civil rights. We got to fight just so the white man is civil with us, not for human rights or, or just like everybody else. Just, for, just to act civil with me, I got to fight and march and do all kinds of, and, and get water hoses sick to on me. That's what's going on. Read it again. And among these nations shall thou find no ease. No ease. Even when you're jogging, you're going out for, just imagine, you're going out for a morning jog. The air's free. You've been in the house two weeks. You want to get some fresh air. Let me go for a morning jog. It feels good outside. And you end up losing your life. Damn. Just because some Edomite, some devil thinks you, you burglarizing some houses. You're a black guy running. You got to be robbing. You got, that guy be doing something. He running. <laughs> Hmm. Jeffro, get out here. Look at this running over here. Go ahead. Neither shall the sole of thy foot have rest. We ain't got no rest in America. You think you got rest. We ain't got no rest here, man. You think this is peace out here. Ain't no peace out here with these folks. Go ahead. But the Lord shall give thee there a trembling heart Uh and a failing of eyes. A failing of eyes. That's why we always sorrowful. We always got to march. We always got to rally. We always got to beg. Always got to beg your Congress. You begging the same people that be putting you to death just to be civil with you. Go ahead. And a sorrow of mind. And sorrow of mind. Always depressed. Go ahead, D. Hey, let me, let me have lamentation 418. I think that's the one. Yeah, that's it. Got it. <laughs> yep. right Hunt our steps. <laughs> oh, that's where you at? Yeah, right there. Lamentations chapter 4 and verse 18. They hunt our steps that we cannot go in our streets. So you see what the Bible said? You in quarantine, they still hunt you down like a dog. Hmm. 
The uh, black men cannot go ahead. Now I'm thinking about it, D. I'm surprised more of us ain't got shot. That, that most people gotta wear the damn mask. Mm. And, They're gonna and use cover that. Their face. Yeah. Yes. They're gonna now use that to it. kill us. The cops gonna do it. The regular is gonna do it. They're gonna use that. Because right now in some states, I was just in PA. Yeah, PA is, you can't. Yeah. It is a law that you yep. you have to if you come outside, you have to have a mask on. You get on that bus, you have to have a mask on. Yeah, it's it, a law. You cannot go nowhere without a mask, or you yeah. get no business with, without a mask on. I told you I went to pick up a load in PA. I went to drop a load in PA. I went to pick up another one. I went inside. The, uh, remember, keep, keep in mind they got a big window. Yeah, the lady go. You got to go back in the truck get a mask. I'm like, for what? I'm pick up a load. I'm not no, touching I'm anything. Saying. She says, sir, go back in your truck, get a mask, or you're not gonna get your truck's not gonna get loaded. Dang. So I had to go outside, get a towel, wipe it on my face, come back inside. Yeah, and they got fines too. Yeah. Certain states got fines, yes. and uh, yeah. like somewhere yeah. Florida, somewhere like a five hundred California five hundred dollar uh, fine for not uh, wearing a mask, having those masks on. Mm. They, but they're not playing. Go ahead, finish that scripture with the whole thing again. They hunt our steps that we cannot go in our streets. Uh-huh. Our end is near. Our days are fulfilled, for our end is come. Hey. Over with. They hunt a step. Continue. The blood that go outside for a little jogging, and he dead. Yeah. You know, you know we often yeah. make the mistake. We read scriptures and think it was for way back then. But remember, like Paul said in Romans 15, for the things written aforetime is written for our learning. Right. All these things are very pertinent for today. Yes, sir. Hey. Mm. Yes, sir. Yeah, so much for jogging. <laughs> Just get a treadmill. Yeah, <laughs> you're right. Hey, <laughs> you're laughing. You're right. Yeah, you're yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. He saw get, get it, now you got to get a treadmill. Because you can't enjoy in, your neighborhood, you got to get a treadmill. Yes, keep in mind, you're jogging, you're wearing a mask. Now they say, oh, he's, he's a robber. He's, gonna, he's just from, from robbing a place. Shut him down. Well, they say something similar like that because he had a white t shirt on and there was a radio call in there. Oh, no, not the, the, the typical male, black, yeah. white shirt. Yep. Mm-hmm. Mm. But you know what's so crazy? Oh, we got to talk about this. Kidan, find me the article where all these white men went to the state capital in Michigan. Yes. Arms to the teeth. And the white men didn't do nothing to them. As a matter of fact, your president, Donald J. Trump, the idiot he is, he said they are good people. The governor should make a deal with them. I get, and let me tell you something. Remember, the Black Panthers do the same thing. Mm-hmm. They got shot down. Right. They hunt them down. And they changed the laws after the yes. Black Panthers yeah. did it. Yes. Hey, it's funny y'all was talking about that we be getting, we'll probably be facing some kind of persecution behind the mask. Like, when the, when the quarantine started here, that they had to remove an old Jim Crow law for wearing masks like it was already on the books that the Klansmen couldn't wear masks oh, yeah. but they had to remove the law of wearing masks because they said that they felt that the black people would get persecuted under that mm. that same yeah, law that. during this quarantine for wearing those masks mm. Kidon, you found it yep put it up put it up this is the bbc coronavirus Armed protesters enter Michigan State House. Did you have the picture where they stand right in front of, of the door? The all of them was armed? No, Kidon, there's another one. Where they all stand in front of, they got their mask on. All of them got an AK-47. Hmm. And that's not all over the news, huh? Yeah, that's not all over the news. That's hey, right, right there. To the right. Right there. The third. No, the third. no, that one. Yep. Put that up. Yep. That's, that's the state house in the state of Michigan. The state capital. What it like that game? Keep in mind, keep in mind, the the Black Panther do the same thing. They got arrested, they got shut down. And remember, last year or the year before, they took over the Capitol building in Portland, Oregon. Yeah. Remember that with armed guns, and they they held that building hostage for like, if I remember right, it was like like a week or two or or some time. So they do negotiations and all that. Yeah. For that, they took like a park or something too, like uh like a state park. Mm. Some Esau's had to and and killed a federal officer. Yeah. And killed a federal officer. Mm -hmm. He done. Find the article where Donald Trump said they are good people. (laughs) You know, you gotta you gotta read it because you know black people they won't believe it. They don't believe it until until they read it from the white man. 
That's why I like Proverbs where they say, envy thou not the oppressor and choose none of his ways. Because, see, we start getting in the mind frame of, oh, we want all this black this and we, we need our own. But the first thing you do is copycat what they do. You copycat what they do. You copycat what they do. And then when they kill you, you start saying, oh, it's not getting the... the you, it's not going to. You copycatting what they do. They don't like you. They don't want you around. And then you complain about not having the same or equal rights. You found it? it yeah, you know, it's it. like, quit trying to Did be you find like the article? Bishop, because Bishop got it here. Well, yeah, that's, the, that's what it says. It's from the... Al, 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 What's that? Al Jazeera. Al Jazeera. Al Jazeera. Al Jazeera. Yeah. This one got it. This is it. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. Carmilla. In response to armed right wing protesters, some without masks, pack. Excuse me. Packing the Michigan Capitol building on Thursday in a rally against the state's coronavirus lockdown, President Donald Trump praised the occupiers. Damn. And you, you hear that? The you president. <laughs> you praised. Uh, I just say it. Commander you, the in orange chief? man, the orange the man in orange charge. Orange man in charge, saying he praised them for going to the Capitol all armed. Go ahead. President Donald Trump praised the occupiers and urged Governor Gretchen Whitmer, Whitmer to bend to their will. Wow. Damn. The governor of Michigan. This is the same president who called the white supremacists good people. Good people. Mm -hmm. yep. Yeah. As long as they're white. So all how, right. How did that and I do it? Be all, all right. right. He is why? 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 Mm. As long as why everything is good, <laughs> they are good people. <laughs> the governor of Michigan should give a little and put out the fire. These are very good people. Trump tweeted Friday, echoing his defense of the very fine people. You see that thing? They are good people. Man. Good old white people. Why? Why? Good old white people. <laughs> <laughs> it says, echoing his defense of the very fine people, demonstrating at a white nationalist rally in Charlottesville in 2017. But they are angry, Trump said of the Michigan protesters. They want their lives back again, safely. See them, talk to them, make a deal. <laughs> you hear that Damn, thing? Make a deal. You hear that thing? Nobody said make a deal with the Black Panthers. Nope. No. Shot, kill these out. Right. Hey, what is name? Uh, that demon? What, that Ronald demon Reagan? Name? No, that 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 uh, FBI demon. Um, Hoover. 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 Hoover said. Hoover. Hoover said to kill all of them. But Donald Trump said, no, they why make it deal with them. Them boys in Philly, the move, the move, the move movement. Mm -hmm. They bombed the whole block with them. You see? <laughs> yeah. Took they the killed, whole royal they, house. they killed women, children. Yep. Was in there. They when you're going to realize they got a law for white people, a law for the Negroes. But just like Bishop said, they are citizens of America. Yep. We are denizens. Right. But we can't seem to get that, fa uh, get that through our skulls that we don't really belong here, man. We tell, only brought here to repent. Let me tell you something, man. Your Negroes, after this coronavirus is over, if you go back to the Christian church again, you're the biggest you, you, yeah, idiot. You, you deserve it. Boy, they, you deserve deserve it. It. they waiting to go. Huh? They waiting to go. They're going to be pulled up outside the in about 20 idiot. minutes. Yep. They're going to be having that uh, drive-in, sir. What it... Hey, read that Ezekiel 35, 5 for me. A lot of people don't realize that Donald Trump, uh, although he's rich, they say that he's not an elitist. He's not in that group. But they uh -huh. said, contrary-wise, he is a nationalist. Um, and they said the boss, why the bulk of his supporters are nationalists, white people that support their nation, their people. Read that. The book of Ezekiel, chapter 35 and verse 5. Because thou hast had a perpetual hatred. The word perpetual means ongoing, forever. God is telling, teaching us why the so-called white man is against so-called black people. Can I read that again? Because thou has had a perpetual hatred and has shed the blood of the children of Israel. We are the children of Israel, read. By the force of the sword. Force of the sword, the force of the gun. In the time of their calamity, in the time that their iniquity had an end. So God is telling you that Esau, the so-called white man, has a perpetual hatred against the black man. So you in the Christian church, I don't know what book y'all are reading, you're listening to T.D. Jakes, 
those motivational speeches right. feel good. <laughs> Let me tell you, these preachers of today are like the, the ancient prophets of old, that prophet, not the ancient prophet, the ones that prophesied about peace, peace, yes. and there was no peace. peace, and God was putting those guys to death because it was lying to Israel. And he's the same way with these preachers today because right. the word preacher just means prophet. Mm. Mm -mm. Damn. I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. Wow. Learn something wow. new every day on Patient Saints. Yeah. There ain't no preacher meant prophet. Yeah. That's why you got to come in here and just close your, sh close your mouth. You're going to say shut the hell up. Shut up. I don't know if you say shut up. Just come shut up. The, the real etymology, pre, you know, pre means like beforehand. Mm -hmm. And the rest of the word, uh, share goes into tell, foretell. Mm -hmm. So there's foretelling things to come. So it's a prophet, in other words. The bishop word of the day, preacher. <laughs> <laughs> needs to, needs to That's right. Yeah, 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 profit. Go ahead. Uh, you finish this. Oh, you want in a defiant move. The first term Democratic governor responded to the protest by doing the exact opposite. Whitmer in a new executive order aimed at mitigating the pandemic extended Michigan state of emergency until May 28th. Meaning that all restaurants, bars, theaters, gyms, but and other non-essential businesses. The point is, none of them go to jail. Mm -hmm. Not one of them go to jail. No. Why? Because they're white. The white man. What the hell is this? That's what you call the white privilege. None of them. That's why the Lord. Jake, Jake got shot down. They hunt every single Jake get hunt down and killed. They even killed one where he was white sleeping right in his bedroom. Yes, Amber Geiger. Yep. Right? Uh, Botham no, John. He was eating ice Botham cream. John. And yeah, Geiger. No, he was, eat, he was eating he ice cream in his um, underwear mm -hmm. in his living room. Botham yeah. John. That's the brother's name. Levi. He was Levi. You don't know Levi? And we talking about the Black Panther. What the hell are you talking about? Oh, you talk. <laughs> oh, you talk about Fred Hampton. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Fred Hampton. I thought you talking about recent history. <laughs> funny. What? Come on, Benji. <laughs> What's wrong with Benji, man? <laughs> Benji, Martha G still got Benji, killed. He stay was stay with me, man. He was in stay his drawers me. in his living room in his own Benji, house. Benji, I say the Black Panthers, they hunt them down. You say Anna Geiger. I'm like, what? Amber Geiger. Amber Geiger. I'm like, what? That's a good pure I don't white remember the, I don't remember none of the Black Panthers was eating ice cream. What the hell are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Black Panthers don't eat ice cream. Black Panthers don't eat ice cream. Damn. <laughs> oh, y'all so but Stay he, with me, Benji. But, but either way, they both got killed. Unjustly. Okay, Benji. Right? Can we agree? We, we could agree to that? You I, make it I, I think so, Benji. All right. Well, praise us. Thank you, Levi. <laughs> Levi, you all right, oh, man. God. You all right. Uh, Kidon, go back. Um, we got a phone call? No. Okay. My life. This is, this is back. Um... Moments, excuse me, moments before the interaction that led to the killing, a resident of Satilla Shores called 911. That's the other article. This yeah. is the original. Okay, original. Okay. Uh, excuse me. <laughs> a Satilla, Bishop, Bishop tried to keep up too. Yeah. <laughs> Satilla Shores called 911 and said a black man in a white t shirt was in a house that was under construction Damn. and partially closed in. And he's running right now. The man told the 911 dispatcher, there, go, there he goes right now. Arbery wearing a white t-shirt, khaki shorts, Nike sneakers, and a bandana at the time of the incident, according to the time. But what's so crazy? That's he, not burglar clothes. That's not burglar clothes. <laughs> but this is the thing. How did he, did, did he hear the 911 dispatch? Like, what in your mind, if somebody called 911, did they just put out like an all Esau bulletin say mm -hmm. it's a white black man in a white shirt? Right. <laughs> like, where did, where did you get this information like to, to come to the conclusion that this is a robbery suspect? Hmm. Wow. He he's dressed like he's jogging. He said he got shorts, shorts and a white t-shirt. Right? white t-shirt. He's jogging. I don't know about the khakis now. I don't know nobody running Either khakis. way, you ain't going to be burglarized <laughs> in, your, in your khakis. <laughs> <laughs> like I'm just go for a run in these here in these here duckhead shorts and I, so, I don't know. Barnhill wrote he did not believe the shooting was criminal as Gregory and Travis had been legally carrying their firearms because Arbery was a burglary suspect. According to Barnhill, Travis and Gregory had solid first hand probable. You know what's calls. so funny? You know what's so crazy about this? I guarantee you, if that brother had a gun on him. 
they shot they shoot first and the blood uh, return fire and kill both of them he would have go to jail murder yeah. Yeah. murder one yes he would have go to jail that's how crazy this country is he would have go to jail I, say so. I don't know bishop i'm thinking man i'm thinking living this place where you gonna um, go I don't know. <laughs> you want to go back to Sierra Haiti? Sierra Leone. I might go back to Sierra Leone or Haiti. I don't know. I don't know. There's no food in Haiti, so I don't know if we're going to go there. What are you going to eat in Haiti, <laughs> Deacon? Go there's go. no food. Go. Hey, find me, find me the mud cake. I was just about to say, oh, it, there's no oh food. yeah, we got to bring that up. We got yeah, plenty yeah, mud yeah, cakes. We got yeah, mud cakes. There's mud cakes to this. go around. You could let's grow your this. crops. I can grow my own crop. Yeah. I can bake my own uh, mud cake. I don't know what you're talking about. There's no food. Moe, Moe, I just was baking your mud cake for you. I had to hire Moab to explain the mud cake. Mississippi but mud cake. No, nah, that ain't it. That ain't it. Why, uh, why mud? Why, uh, it's, in the, it's in the patient scenes. Esau's on was, uh, Moab's on was white, though. There, that's yeah. plenty food, Bishop. Look at this. <laughs> that's all mud. mud Look at that thing. Mm, oh, mm. She enjoying that thing. Number two is enjoying that thing. Mm, like all right, that's it. That's it. Take it off. That. That's it. That's it. That's it. But I did know that too much. Levi got some good looking teeth, though. So maybe that mud cake be like giving but, some minerals. But Levi does live to at least 128. They got yeah. they, they full of minerals, man. <laughs> they like the healthiest tribe is Levi. Right. They were like, you I know, came he, from you, the dust hey, of the ground. Uh, brothers and sisters, you know, he tried to be funny, right? right. <laughs> the hell is this? God listen, I'm on that. Listen, Levi listen, full of that. minerals, yeah, man. You know, he tried to be funny. I'm not trying to be funny. He tried to be funny. You see <laughs> Levi living old, man, you know? Old voodoo lady on the street Benjamin. is like at least 200 years old. <laughs> we passed through the, uh, uh, when we was in Haiti. <laughs> Still <laughs> prophesying remember, voodoo. Remember that little Haitian man that lived in a little box? In the box, box yep. Yeah. By the hotel. By the hotel, yep. he said he, he, had a, he could get, give me a spell to make me rich. I'm about to so say, why can't you do yeah, that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why you ain't <laughs> do it for yourself? Don't worry. Like I <laughs> can't use it for my own good. Yeah, I, mean, I think he was a midget because he 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 how he fit in that little ass box. <laughs> <laughs> <It's a> spell. <laughs> Somebody put a spell on his ass. <laughs> hey, that was it. When you let him put a spell, they give you that box. Yeah. How the hell you know he was a small box? You was there? Yeah, he was there. He, down the, he was there. Yeah, he was there? Yeah. He seen the dude right across the street, right right next remember to the Remember he was in that little box? He was in a little box. I don't know how he Why did he act like he don't remember? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Baba cool. <laughs> Baba cool. <laughs> leave uh, leave him alone. Leave him alone. Leave Make Levi you. alone, man. Leave Levi alone. Somebody said, wait, wait, wait. somebody said, I've been to Haiti. It is beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they just laugh Haiti to scorn. They're like, That's it is right? beautiful. Ha <laughs> ha. You know where they went. What's that place? The beautiful La, place. La, La, La Badi. La Badi. Y'all guys know this. owns that. Y'all guys know this. You went to Edo, 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 Haiti. talk about Haiti every Sunday, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, you be talking about Judah every Because week, they, the listeners now thinking, y'all guys got some type of racist going on against Haiti. No, they, they don't believe They don't believe that. They, they, they surely, don't believe that. surely they believe that. <laughs> 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 I, I believe it. Because <laughs> after y'all guys done, I got, I got, listen, I got to say this. A couple of weeks ago, we were talking. Remember, when we were talking about the flags. Yeah, yeah. I got a couple of texts from Levi. Oh, some of them. Oh, they was pissed. Oh, yeah, they're, yeah. Se- they're serious about that. I got flags. some the inboxes flag, too. Yeah. They're serious. They yeah. say, "Oh, did you know the flag was made after this? After that?" I'm like, "Bro, we was just it's just joking, joking y'all. It's just it was joking. just joking. Come, don't don't, don't hate us. Calm down. <laughs> <laughs> we don't care about the flags. Don't we talk- don't give a damn about the flag. Yeah. The, the Levi flag or the Jamaican flag. We don't give a damn. Yeah. Don't turn or the this, American flag. Don't turn yeah. this into wheelbarrows. That wheel was barrels. a joke. Yeah. Don't turn this into wheelbarrows. Don't turn like, this into oh, goats. You know the flag <laughs> is this. <laughs> You're not going to do the barrel. flag. We Israelite. <laughs> the flag said we Israelite. I'm like, oh yeah, he does? Yeah. I didn't see it. <laughs> but so Levi, Levi is crazy yeah. serious, yeah. bro. Yeah. They prideful. Hey, but yes, <laughs> very serious. But the flag go hand and hand with the church. That's why they yes. use the divide and conquer. Yeah. That's why they use the mm-hmm. simple. Because I, I, in, in the Jamaica um, yeah. flag, and their their um, slogan is "Out of many people, we one. are one people." No, we're not one people in Jamaica. <laughs> no. the, the Chinese dominate you. The East Indians dominate mm. you, and Esau dominates you. No, you're not. Oh, damn. The Haitian flag does the same thing. Yeah. What is that? Un- you need a force. Uni- like unity See? fell our force. Yeah. But the series united, is over there. How'd that go? United, we strong. strong yeah. No, it's mean. not. You're not united. Right. Yeah. You're not. You know, it, it, I always laugh when, I, when, it, when y- y'all, y'all, Y'all be getting real sensitive. Benjamin too. Y'all get overly Arrested. sensitive. No, no. no Levi's Levi's land. They Levi's steal a lot of land, yeah. don't they? Let me, let me give y'all a scripture Uh-oh. to help y'all out. Uh-oh. See, Judah, we ain't sensitive. You talk about 
Mississippi, if you want. You can talk about New Orleans. Okay. Watermelon. Bishop. Bishop. Watermelon, Bishop. you can Bishop. talk about. Okay. The reason you're not, you, Judas not sensitive is because you guys have nowhere to go. <laughs> <laughs> the, only way, the only way you can go is you can run down south. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> well, that is true. But let me show you what God says about no. this. Bring it out. God. Ah. God Psalms, says Psalms 137, uh, 5 and 6. Mm-hmm. This is it. You Levites and you Benjamin, listen good to this. Y'all yes, sir. sensitive yes, about sir. your little rusty <laughs> countries. <laughs> yeah, they, With, with they, Esau stealing yeah, all your yeah, resources. Yeah. I'm telling you, Levi is very so sensitive when he comes to Haiti. Five and six. Don't talk about Haiti. 137, five and the six. book of Psalms, chapter 137, verse 5. If I forget thee, O Jerusalem, let my right hand forget her cunning. So we as a people have forgotten Jerusalem and the, the right hand forgetting the cunning. We've forgotten how to keep God's laws. Go ahead. If I do not remember thee, let my tongue cleave to the roof of my mouth. We don't remember Jerusalem as our motherland, so our tongue cleaves to the roof of our mouth, meaning what? We're not speaking the right words of God. We're speaking colonialism. We're speaking right. uh, a hatred. We're speaking division. We're speaking oppression. Go ahead. If I prefer not Jerusalem above my chief joy. When you get mad because someone speaks about, about Haiti or Jamaica, Jerusalem is not your chief joy. Right. Haiti is your chief right, joy. Right. Jamaica Dang. is your chief Dang. joy. Right. Hey, so hey. You, they mention them flags. We should be scudding. Hey, another thing about them flags. <laughs> All those, all your little flag, your Jamaican flag, your Haiti flag, all your, they're flags of colonialism. Yeah, right? they are. That's what it is. It's flags of them dominating you. You didn't come up with that flag. No, they, they gave you that flag. Hey, that flag in Haiti is what? Blue and red. Yeah, and, and, white. and white. And white. Yeah. And white, and white and blue. They, why? Because they were under the French. Look right. at the French flag. Right. Almost the and same crap. Same color. And it's still same the color. just a different yeah. angle. And the same curriculum crop. is still the same. Yeah, same that, they, they, that they teach in school is is, yeah. is French. In Haiti, in Haiti, they look at oh, if you don't speak French, you're not intelligent. Man, right. shut the hell up, Deacon. I remember we went to uh, one of those schools on, on a visit in Haiti. Remember the, uh, in the in the schoolyard they had the big white yes, Jesus. Yes, yes. Oh, the one they threw a paper at Deacon head. <laughs> oh yeah, they tried to. Yo, they tried I didn't to bring kill. that up. Yeah. If Damn. that was a if that was a I rock, I would have been done. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they tried to kill me. I was offended for you, D. Yeah. So you, I, I, I was. wouldn't be surprised some Israelites still have that, Levites specifically, still got Haitian flags hanging in a, in a rear view um, on in the a car, in the mirror. <laughs> mm. I'm telling you, some still. That's the oppressive flags. Yes, every last because one. Because we was oppressed under the, under the damn French. Yep. All Esau flags got that red, white, and blue in it. Yeah. That's how you know they confederate together, like yeah. all they flags. Oh, yeah. 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 When you pull it up, even the countries that they that they colonize, they got the same colors. They all got Puerto the same Rico, colors. Yes, uh, Santa Dom- the yep. Dominican Republic, Cuba, Haiti, Cuba. Cuba they Everybody. all got the same thing. They all got the flags of the oppressor. So, like Bishop said, Bishop just cut. So, I don't think some of them even get what Bishop just said. Mm-hmm. She just cut. Yeah. Huh? Read that again. Yeah, you should read that again. The Bishop Book of Psalms, chapter one thirty-seven, and verse five. If I forget thee, O Jerusalem. Let my right hand forget her cunning. If I do not remember thee, let my tongue cleave to the roof of my mouth. If I prefer not Jerusalem above my chief joy. Mm -hmm. So Bishop, when the white men run after Judah, Judah should, instead of running down south, Judah should should prefer uh, Jerusalem above (laughs) her (laughs) chief. Get to swimming. (laughs) Oh man, let me tell you. You cannot tell me, uh, when you read Genesis 49 about Judah, the so-called American blacks, you cannot tell me that's not Judah. That thing describe them to the teeth. They're going to be right in the neck of the enemy. Right. No matter where Judah go, the enemy's right there. Judah cannot He's run. He's going to be breathing on Yes. <laughs> Judah cannot run from the enemy, bro. Uh, Levi, Benji, uh, 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 the northern kingdom, we can run. Mm-hmm. Judah cannot run. Judah is right there with the stuck. enemy, but stuck. Yeah, right there yeah, with the enemy, man. Yeah, man. <laughs> Better po, repent. Poor Gad. We stuck here and don't even know we Gad. We just run around lost. Oh, there was an article about Gad. Remember, they they said no black people allowed in the tribe. Yes. Oh, yes. yes. Who was saying that? I posted that in the, uh, yeah. in the group. That's because most, most Gad think they Judah now. Uh, that chief. Then, then they white. No. Yeah, he he's uh, 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 a lot of Esau who call himself Gad, no, who call himself no, no. so-called American Indian. There's a lot of them. I said that a couple of weeks ago, some people got mad. It's the truth. 
a lot of people who call themselves Soka American Indian, they are Iso. A lot right? of them yeah. in Florida. Yeah, no, they it, are Iso. What I'm saying was a lot of gad. It's a it's a book called 101 Facts About the Western, the Indians of North Americans or the Western Hemisphere. Mm. And I think it's like 1735 or something like that. Esau gave him an ultimatum, said, reclassify yourself as Negro or nothing. This, this is the option you get. No benefits. No nothing. So they, a lot of gad reclassified themselves as Negro. And that's what happened. It's like, uh, and this happened in like 1735. Well, they are Negroes. So, what tr- but is that uh, the five civilized tribes? Or well, was, who's e- that? Esau made the five civilized tribes after that. Like, okay, okay. now we'll, you know, they made their little coalition, but the a, a lot of the the blacks got, I mean, a lot of the Native Americans, especially the dark-skinned ones, got reclassified as Negroes. So it's like, eh, you mm-hmm. use a now, nah, go live with them. And we're not putting you on our reservations and we're not giving you. You look like a. <laughs> you got, you, you, you black as hell. You're big. You might not I got my gay. big black. <laughs> <laughs> you might Shout not be gay. So speaking, he, he might not be gay. That's what you're saying. You might not be, you not be gay. You might not be gay. Hey, I might be gay. Say nah, what? I, I know. I know. I'm gay because I, I ain't got. I still got hell in this. Area. <laughs> oh, that <hey>, Mickey <laughs> might be gay, Judah. And it's it, it, Judah right here. Yeah, that's that's all Judah. Yeah, Judah, Judah. it be shiny Judah. too, and, and, and all that hell. And come all out. this right here is Judah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right here. No, yeah, that's the name. That's Judah. Though. Well, that's this, how you is, know this is one Judah. thing I don't understand about you. Help me. Help me. I understand. Help me. Help you. Help you. How the hell you have no woman? You have no kids. But you lost your damn hair. You have no, you're not supposed to have no stress. Hey, Can that, you explain to that, explain to the viewers how the hell that happened? <laughs> hey, you, when, you, when you live a rough, simple life, uh, Deacon. Oh, that's that what stuff, it is. That's, that that stuff happens, you know. I've been through a lot in the world, you know. So the most I smote your crown. Yeah, he, he took me away <laughs> on that thing. Like like early, I say like what twenty? I was twenty nine. So you yeah. had just one day you woke up just it disappeared. Just, it just gone. 29. Just gone. I think my grade started when I was like uh, 31. So at 28, you had a full hairline. By 29, <laughs> the whole joint was gone. Damn. It was on the pillow. Hey, I'm still clean, though. That's you right. That's right. Well, that's they go to. I'm still clean. You know what the problem is? Hey, that's all we can go to. Okay. Shiny clean. <laughs> when, you, uh, when you're young, single, and you're grayed out with no hair, that's Ciroc 3625. God is going to tell, God is going to tell you why. I like that bishop, I like that. <laughs> There's a preacher that said I'd be laughing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The book of Sirach, <laughs> chapter 35, I'm 36, 30. verse 25. Right. Where no hedges, there the possession is spoiled. Here it comes. And he, hath, and he that hath no wife will wander up and down mourning. <laughs> hey, damn. <laughs> you sorrowful. <laughs> He's depressed. Press, bro. Hey, yeah. hey, man. It's gonna be all right, man. It's gonna Yo, be all right. It was a rough, rough, rough life in the world. So you one of these brothers, two, three in the morning, walking back up and down from the street. Morning, uh, morning, uh, hey, morning. Man, I wish I had some company. I wish I had some company. Hate my life. <laughs> Hate my life. <laughs> yeah. You gonna be all right, Joe. You gonna be all right. <laughs> we gonna move on deep. Oh, do we have Let's a phone call on. still? The phone call is still gonna- on. My legs. You, you gonna check it? Yeah, I put the call through. All right, Shalom caller. What's your name, question, or comment? It's Shalom. My name is Yachai. Most high blessed. I'm calling from Atlanta. My comment is um, last week with Ammon Bundy and Edomite with the uh, Medean Police Department. They was there also with a shotgun to remove the mayor, and they had a petition. And Ammon Bundy, the same Edomite that was mentioned early in class, that um, he was the, he had the standoff in Oregon at the park with the FBI. He's a big time demon too. Um, he, they, they went up there with shotguns, and the other Edomites sat there and actually joined forces with their nation of demons and went to the mayor's door and put the petition signed by them on the man's door to remove them. And this was um by Ammon Bunny. He's a uh, 
he's a, a nationalist with uh, you know that whole Trump organization stuff. So I just wanted to leave that comment real quick and uh, most high blessed. All right, thank you for your That's comment, brother. Thank you. All right, all right, sure. Yeah, I believe they call them patriots. Yeah. Right. Right. Uh, uh, there was another name for them. Uh, there's another name for them. They call them uh, nationalist patriots. Nationalist patriots, but there's another common name. The the far right. The far right. Yeah. The right. far right. That's another name for white supremacy. When you hear the far right, run. <laughs> we used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone, 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.